Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Today we're going to talk a little bit more to Johanni because apparently I've been like neglecting her somehow. I don't know, I thought I was talking to everybody but she has a lot to say so we're going to listen like good friends and we're also going to do other things as well. So buckle up and get ready and the video will start in a moment. It was Revan's army that freed her. Blah. Maybe she'll tell you more in t Oh my gosh, I have not talked to Johanny enough, apparently. Jeez. DK, welcome back. Revan is omnipresent. It's ridiculous. Revan, I actually am starting to kind of just, I don't know. Like you said, Revan casts a great shadow. And now I'm like, I don't know. I don't really like Revan. I don't, I've no, I don't know. Even when Revan, I don't know. Is it like, maybe it's resentment? Where it's like, I don't know. It's like, it's just like, eh, this, I don't know. How may I be of assistance to you? Padawan. Like, I don't know. I guess I don't, I don't know. Revan was a good person. I don't know how they turned into, like, such a terrible person. Like, now I'm, like, nervous, like, following the star maps thing. Like, I mean, I was in the beginning, right? Because, like, it's like, oh, Revan followed these star maps, and now we don't know what's going on, and blah, 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 and... Like, I don't know, we don't know what happened, and I'm like, well, you're gonna just send me out there to follow these star maps that are apparently ancient evil things, and you're gonna hope that I don't turn into Revan? Okay. Um, I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? What are you thinking about? What you thinking about? Darth Bane was inspired to start his Sith Order by Revan's teachings. That's true! That's true. Yes, I mean, I have been reading the Darth Bane. Like, I just I actually started back up again today reading the Darth Bane. I, I'm on the last book. I'm on the, the, the third book of the Darth Bane trilogy. And yeah, Revan left a lot of really interesting, apparently, uh, well, I think Bane's only found, like, one source of, like, Rev, like, like, a, one of those, like, uh, pyramidal things, like, hex, uh, what it was called, something that, like, stored memories. Uh, what are you thinking about? I have been thinking much about our journey. Please! And I am grateful and honored that you have accepted me with you. Holcrum, thank I you. Holcrum, Holcrum. such unbiased acceptance from one who is nearly a stranger to me. We Cathar do not make friends easily, or for long. Even on Dantooine, I remained alone. Not ostracized, exactly, but separate. Um... Yeah. Tell me about your people. In truth, I have lived in the Republic too long, and I know little. I never met any others of my race other than my parents. We are not diplomats. We do not deal well with groups. This situation is new to me. It is... it is warming. I feel almost welcome. <laughs> Needed. You seem to be very decisive when it is required of you. It is reassuring to know that I can count on someone like you. Oh my gosh. Uh... It is nice that you hold me in such high regard. We are all in this together. Um, it's nice that you hold me in such high regard. To be accepted so readily, I find it difficult to explain. It is so different from what I'm used to. Just thank you for accepting me. You're welcome. I think, I guess we're, I don't know, I guess we're done with, sort of, Gianni. Anyway, I guess we could, we could probably talk to her a little bit more about other little things, but. And I think Candorous is done. We could talk to Bastila again. Probably. How can I help? You curious about something? Am I so transparent? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, considering our bond. Yes. There is something I would like to ask, if you'll permit it. Go ahead. In our time together, I've been watching oh, yeah? you. You are a true servant of oh, the boy. light. You follow the tenets of the Jedi Order, despite the lore of the dark side. And with so little training, for me, it has always been a constant battle. Don't you find it difficult at all? You make it seem so easy. Or is that only an illusion? Um, it's a struggle for me sometimes. That's a relief to hear. I have never found the Jedi path an easy one to walk. It's not it's supposed to, to be I'm easy. Alone. I've always struggled for control over my passions. I've always been too quick to anger, too quick to get involved. My instructors constantly berated me for it. I've often dreamed that I might be able to confront Darth Malak. Darth Malak. 
I dream I can use all this power I have to kill him and stop all the That's not a good thing to wish for. I just think about all the evil that the Sith have caused, and I, I get so furious. Yet we are told that these feelings are the path to the dark side. Isn't it weird? It's kind of, I mean, it's crazy, but it's like, it's true in a way that like, you know, you may have like a righteous indignation or a righteous fury, but it so easily can lead you down a path that you cannot return or is, that is very difficult to return from, you know? She definitely wants us. Waits for Bastion to say, I should go. I should go. <laughs> um, sounds like you have your own demons to face. I suppose I do. Part of me thinks that it would be worth anything to vanquish evil, even if it meant giving in to my base emotions. The very thought that I could become as evil as Malak, I just can't fathom it. It just doesn't seem possible. I mean, how could <laughs> No. Wait, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even be asking you this. The Jedi teachings are clear. Who am I to question them? And even worse, who am I to try and make you question them? What? What? These are dangerous thoughts. The indulgence of a vain mind. Please, wow, you're ever mentioned this. You're so hard on yourself. Like she's so hard on herself. And she if she has these thoughts, it's better, I think, in some ways, to talk about them and like air them out, you know? But at the same time, like talking them out could also just encourage that sort of thinking that maybe she doesn't want to encourage, but like I don't know. I feel like the, the only way to learn, like, I don't know, um, in the religion I grew up with, like, they told us it was a good idea to question. Like, they were never, they never asked for unquestioning obedience. It was, if you have a problem or a question or, or you feel like something's not quite right, like, ask. Like, figure it out. Like, ask questions of people, of, like, whatever, you know, like, figure it out. Nobody... Nobody should expect unquestioning obedience and, like, loyalty. Like... You should feel free to, like, air your criticisms or your questions or your concerns, you know? I don't sound like that, do I? I should go. I I should go. I should go. <laughs> that was so funny in Mass Effect 3. <laughs> Rex, I mean, Zalbar. <laughs> Okay, what a what a bachelor's thing. She's having doubts about her own abilities as a Jedi. Hopefully her uncertainty won't work against the mission. Or lead her down the Man, it would be really cool if Bastila got turned to the dark side, though. Let's be real here. How can I help? Kaden, I mean Karth is definitely exactly <laughs> yeah. Not now, Kate Karth. Kate Karth. <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay. Never mind. Then I suggest we move on. Okay, she's having issues and doesn't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this seems like if you bottle it all up, that's another surefire way to the dark side. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, let's add Johanny. Oh, she's a guardian too. Oh crap. That's okay. Right? I mean, Jack and you're right. Jack and Johanny is always like, yeah, can we talk about your pet? Oh, and you Jack. Jack actually had a really terrible past. Like, wow, I actually just like put it together. Like I knew Jack and Johnny had the same voice actress, but like they're basically the same characters. Like, except one's an alien and one's a human. Like Jack had a terrible childhood. Terrible, terrible childhood. And was like tortured and abused and hated herself for it. She was definitely dark side material. Yeah, one hour of dialogue later. Shh. Candorous is more like Rex. I don't know, man. Maybe. I mean, Candorous has like that old Mandalorian sort of thing going on. Like Rex had the old uh, Krogan thing going. But Rex wanted what was best for his people. And that meant being... Like, he was trying to approach things more diplomatically, whereas Candorous doesn't- knows we can't go back in the glory days or whatever, but still all venerates all that, even though it's what brought his people low. Mission is kind of like Tally- yeah, Mission's kind of like Tally. Zalbar, hmm. There are Coder 2 characters for me to get to know. Ones that are maybe more like... 
Garrus. Garrus is kind of like Jolie doing what he needs to be. You know what? Yeah, because Jolie, you know, it did, when, when Jolie said that he got sick of waiting around for the council to do something, or the Senate, or whoever, and like realized they weren't going to be able to do it, he just like took action. You know? Turn that on. Oh, and I need to level these people up. I think I put Jahani in a in a the Sith outfit. My bad. What is it? Level up. Let's see. She. We should up her strength. I think she's melee based. Matching outfits, I know, we're so cute. <laughs> mm, why does everybody get tree injury? Oh, <gasps> master force jump and master sense. What? What? <laughs> and. I want that. The Jedi gains supreme sense of self and the actions of others in combat. So this feat grants a plus six defense and is always active. Jedi knows that if combat is inevitable, it must be swift and decisive, but an opponent at range is targeted with a standard light saving melee attack. The Guardian closes the distance almost instantly and receives a plus four to hit and damage on the first strike. Okay. All right, this is that, this is that cool jumping attack. Should I add a plus one to her lightsaber attack? Using improved power attack, which is plus eight to damage on the next melee attack, but the attack is made with the penalty of minus three to hit. The Coder 2, many characters stand out on their own, especially one of them whom I will not spoil. Cool or sit, nice. You can level them up automatically, they'll be okay. Yeah, I, I'm i okay with doing it on my own. I don't mind. Like, sometimes I do the automatic one, but it's... And I'll sometimes check and see what it wants me to do. I think I might need to give her this so that she can survive a little better. I think I was having a problem with her staying alive. What does this do, though? Yeah, oh, Okay. Powers. Sure. It's always nice to have somebody with heal upgraded as well. I think what are these? Are they recommended on treat injury? Sure, whatever. Eats. Near perfect physical conditioning. Da, da, da. A plus three to all blaster to bolt deflection rolls. I might do that as well. More powers. What does she have? Slow. Minus two penalty to defense, reflex saves, and attack rolls. Okay. Affliction causes a target to suffer as the... Does it replace? No. Okay. Seven points from each physical attribute. And the target is slowed. Plague. Whoa. Oh, wow. That seems very powerful. I think I'll get that. Yeah, sure. I don't think stealth really does anything for anybody except me. Plague! I know, right? Plague! Like, who would have thought we'd get plague? Force shield. We have the energy resistance. Uh. 
Why are all like there's there's so many dark side powers and there's like no light side powers? Like why would they do that to you? Why? Fear. Like stuff. Some of the stuff is stuff that I don't think these characters would actually do in real life. Uh, sure. Force shield is probably pretty good. We could activate that at the beginning of a fight. The dark side is cooler. I mean, it's 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 a scientific fact. The dark side has cooler powers. Like, I feel like I feel obligated to pick light side powers sometimes because I'm like, uh, because all I want to do is pick dark side powers. I guess. Okay. Nope. No. Level up. Wow, you look so angry! Recommended. <laughs> Everybody just gets tree healing, that's all. Or tree injury. That's all they need. He's super buff. Nope, he doesn't use melee weapons. Um, it's melee only. Plus two bonus to all saving throws. Uh, melee again. Okay, maybe one of these. Mm, I guess. I guess we'll do that one. Sure. And maybe this one. Like, there's no other, like, blastery type ones. I mean, I could give him, like, rifle, I guess. Oh, allows the uh, use of level 1 cybernetic implants. Actually, let's do that. Yeah, have some cybernetic implants. Because now I can give you one of these. What's his stats? Oh, his constitution's already pretty high. And the other one was a dexterity modifier? Maybe I'll give him that. Oh, whoops. Oh, it's got Okay. Yeah, a little out of a dexterity. Cool. Hmm? Okay. Did you... Was there something I was supposed to do to trigger... Candorous into talking? Or something? Like, into his mission? Like, triggering his mission somehow? Ah, it scared me. Okay. Ow, my biceps hurt so much still from yesterday. Yeah. We'll save so I don't have to do all that talking again. Talking is fun. Okay, walking around, um, planets. Uh, am I going into this completely blind? Well, I was until somebody actually spoiled it for me a couple weeks ago. Unfortunately, I do know a major plot twist. However, that major plot twist, I have no idea how you get there, and I'm still really confused about it. Like, I legitimately, I haven't really talked about it on stream but I don't know how it works. Like, I legitimately don't know how the plot twist works. Dantooine, Manon, Tatooine. I don't want to go back to Tatooine. I could go to Koriba. I finished these three. I still need to do Tatooine, Koriba, and Yavin. Um, if I go to Koriba... <laughs> yeah, I really want to go to Corybon. Yeah, that's what everybody's really bummed about. Also, the people who watch getting a genuine reaction after all these years would have been cool. Yeah, it's... It, I feel a bit cheated, but it happens. It was the risk I took, so... I can go to Yavin. There's nothing there? Okay, I'll go to Yavin. 
Uh oh. Okay, we're good. I thought the game crashed for a second. You've been getting your little brother into this, but you think even he knows the plot twist? Yeah, I mean, it's an old game. It's like 15 years old, so... You know. It's, it, it's unsurprising for most people to know it, but... I only got into Star Wars really, I guess, fairly recently. When I was a kid, I didn't really care, but... Uh-oh. Ah! Malik! Kalo Nord is dead, Lord Malik. He is fair. That was a long time ago. The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Carath. But the failure was Kalo's, not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malak? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. Wow, he's hot. I it's shall fine. not make the same mistake again. My apprentice, Darth Bandon, shall take care of our young Jedi friend. It's fine. I don't mind. Oh my gosh! What? Are you serious? He's got... Willful destruction! What a child! Oh my gosh! Also, you got a creepy mustache. I don't like you immediately. Like. Find Bastila and bring her to That's me. so wasteful! Alive, That's so possible. wasteful! As you command, Master. Like, I don't feel like Sith in general, like, an actual Sith, doesn't go around destroying his own people and equipment for kicks and giggles. That's just a child who's like, I'm the Dark Force user, look how evil I am, who've got something to prove. And it's like the actual Sith Lords and Masters, like, they control themselves. Ugh. Wasteful. You don't give children, like, destructive powers. It's an apprentice Ky Exactly! It's Kylo Ren, <laughs> essentially. Which planets have I completed? Um, Dantooine, Kashyyyk, Manon. Yeah, those ones. You don't like how they made the Sith just childish evil? That's what I've been saying this whole time. I'm like, yeah, why? Why? Like, like you have, like, your lines of, like, dialogue, and it's like, oh, a normal response, a normal response, a funny response, and then you've got, like, childish evil with literal cackling in the background, and I'm like, really? The Sith are supposed to be about, like, not necessarily just, like, oh, overarching anger, anger or evil. Like, they're supposed to be subtle and, like, backstabby and, like... They're supposed to be a lot smarter than this, <laughs> like, than, than the childish evil that, like, they seem to want you to be. Like, I don't think I'll ever play, like, a dark-aligned character just because it's so childish and dumb. Coder 2 is a way more interesting- Oh, no, I'm definitely playing Coder 2. It's actually already been, uh, gifted to me, so I gotta finish Coder 1 so I can play Coder 2. That's what I'm- that's what I'm going for. Uh, it's a shame I don't know how Darth Malak lost his chin. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how Darth Malak lost his chin. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I'll bring Johanny. I feel like Johanny might have something that needs to trigger. And, oh, actually, I just realized, though, bringing Johanny out with uh, Kanderis, like, because of the, like, Mandalore thing. Oh, that might not be good. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but I think they both have things that need to trigger outside the ship, so. Yes! I know, I'm excited. I'm excited for Coder 2 as well. And we're gonna cut it off there, so thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and we're getting closer and closer to Corbon, so get ready. And thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.